So the core tenets of Tartarianism are that there was a civilization before ours that spanned most, if not the entire globe. They had access to free energy that was most likely generated by their architectural structures. And then at some point, there was a great mud flood that happened and it wiped out the free energy civilization. And then the controllers repopulated these cities with these orphan children that were within the last year, the cabbage patch um, explanation for the orphans has been added on to that. And the Tartarian civilization expanded all the way to North America, Australia, South Asia, South America. It was, you know, everywhere. And so they say, look at all these architectural similarities in the entire globe. Therefore, this is the same civilization. And it was Tartarian. Also, giants were part of the civilization too. And that's why everything was bigger because the giants had to fit through the doors. <laughs> just, just duck, bro. Yeah. Uh, and so the controllers, aka, well, they call like the Illuminati the controllers. They have been hiding the stuff. So my gripe is that it actually takes away from Hyperborean civilization because it muddies the waters and it muddies the waters in general with any like truth investigation when people are, are you know trying to break out of the mainstream and then you're like oh are you one of those people who believe that children were born in cabbage patches tartaria a lot of the territory overlaps with like the original hyperborea and of that Hyperborea is just kind of a blanket term for the Indo-European or Yamnaya Bell Beaker people who basically took over half of Eurasia. But they didn't take it over with free energy, super technology. They were pastoralists. They did the old-fashioned way through blood and iron. That's where the majority and chariots and milk, not global free energy mud flood, chariots and milk. And so that's all you need. And so what these Tartarian people are is they're just like transplanting the timeline of our ancestors and saying, actually, you guys didn't exist. You never built anything. Giants built everything that you did, and you're all actually descendants from Cabbage Patch orphans. <laughs> no, you exist, but like you exist because of a mud flood reset and not because of charioteer milk drinking giga chats. So your your origin story is actually a cabbage and not a chariot giga chat. But it, it, it's offensive to other people too. It's offensive to you know like Native Americans and like they don't exist because actually all these uh, you know Western style cities were already on North America. I'll, and then when you get kind of into the subgroups, some of them think, okay, well. They were never there and like they were just brought over from mongolia like very recently as like kind of like a psyop so that they could be that they would trick all of us and think oh yeah like they were here for thousands of years but anyway like that's one of their explanations and i, and I, don't, I don't i have no idea what their take on black history is i have no idea what their history take on the same thing with Australia, you know, all those Western Australian cities, but those have been there for hundreds of years. There's no way the Australians could have built those. And then, the, you know, Asian civilization, no, that doesn't exist. The Japanese, you don't exist. 
the Chinese, the Chinese clearly don't exist because that's like the heartland of Tartaria. And then they point at these maps and say, like, okay, like, look at this map. Right. And so it's just tar Grand Tartary. Like, that was such a vast, unknown area to the majority of Westerners. So it was kind of just a synonym for, like, Greater Mongolia for a, a long part of history. Because all those Turkic tribes were all so similar. They were just like, okay, like, that's just Tartaria. Yeah, I'm trying to find the map. One of the map they use is to say, okay, like, this proves that, like, Tartaria was all the way in North America. Because the North American part had the same color as Tartary. So, therefore, it was part of the same empire. But then I read the comments, and it's like, my great-grandmother told me we came from Cabbage Patches. The weird part is, she's very old, and would state it as a fact. She didn't remember her birthday. We all thought she was just senile, but now I wonder. Like, there's a lot of people in the comments that should be like, um, yeah, this makes sense. <laughs> it could be like, what, like, what would even be of a better way that they could have presented this if they were trying to be a better at psyoping? People would be like, the Cabbage Patch is symbolism for genetic engineering and cloning. But the way Mind on Bell does it is like they're just saying like Cabbage Patches and then they made 20 videos on it. I don't know, like I just see I just see Tartaria as a big psyop. And then you got John Levi, you got you got John Levi, you got all these people, and they get soup they get super pumped, pumped up by the algorithm, by the way. Which is sus. And because if the controllers didn't want this information coming out, like you would have been banned. You know, people back in the day, they weren't explicit with telling their children how biology works. So they use metaphors like storks and cabbage patches. I know that's very upsetting for modern people to hear because they want to, you know, put their four-year-old through sex ed education right away. But people back then had a bit more sense to kind of keep them uh, innocent. Why were there so many orphans? Okay, well, my great-grandfather was an orphan and then he was shipped to Canada. Poverty, industrial accidents off the freaking scale. Zero workplace safety standards. Yeah, there was a lot of orphans back then because there was a lot of babies being born because people can't fathom that these days, right? People can't fathom that there were babies everywhere because people weren't just playing Fortnite all day. And... Men died a lot working. And then if the man died, the woman typically couldn't look after the child on her own. So a lot of these women would put, and if she has more than one, you know, they're going to the orphanage. Yeah, because then essentially you're just turning the elite into gods at that point. Like they are the they are the archons at that point. They rule this material world infallibly and there's nothing we could ever possibly do to challenge people who can who could genetically repopulate populations hundreds of years ago and no one can and they're and they're so vastly superior at deception that we can't even figure out that that happened that is like that's prison planet level of of doomer ideology and that's the trap that they're creating within this tartarianism it's like it's kind of it's like gnosticism gnostic right you live in a dark material realm that is controlled by infallible elites who hate you and they created you and they created you to be slaves and they hate you and they're stealing your energy from you I promise that, okay, like, 
uh, you know, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, were they cloning people? Probably not. I think the more interesting concept is, are there clones and genetically manipulated people amongst us right now today? Orga or organic robotoids like that, to me, seems way more plausible. Like, there could have been kids in the 90s who have already been genetically modified, and they're our peers. We wouldn't even know. 100 years ago, there were babies everywhere. It would have actually kind of been like this, if you look at the population demographics. There would have been babies everywhere. There just would have been baby land. So babies would have dominated people's psyches, and that's why there's all this baby art and cabbage. Could they, it would have literally would have been like cabbage patches because there just is babies everywhere. That's probably just an allegory uh, metaphor that they're using because of this population boom that has been a constant throughout human history. <laughs> But babies are like mysteries to us now. We don't even realize babies are were a common thing back in the day. A lot of these babies aren't even in cabbage patches. Like, is there anything? <laughs> there's like there's absolutely nothing suspicious about this photo right here. It's just a bunch of babies just babying out. And they're all cutouts, too. Like, these are all just cutouts of babies. One of the t key tenets of... I'm just going to call it Tartarianism at this point because it's become an ideology with, like, actual tenets. One of the key tenets of Tartarianism is orphan trains from the 1800s and orphan ships. And I remember I watched this one video and they specifically mentioned the orphan ship that my great grandfather actually um was brought to canada on through the mac Pearson orphan agency he was not grown in a cabbage patch okay he had a we know his dad's name and we know his dad's name and we know his dad's name. like we've traced back i think to the 1700s so we've traced back pre-mud flood and just within our own research. So, because people are so atomized today and so disconnected, and they don't know anything about their own family history, they will just believe in Tartarianism because they actually don't know where they came from anymore, especially in the New World. But they were. They were grown in cabbage patches because the elites caused a great mud flood. Like, look, I'm all for, you guys all know me, I'm all for exploring the unknown, the outer reaches of whatever it takes, you know, DMT entities, smoking DMT with the Easter Bunny, whatever. But, you know, my gut is telling me that there's something really up here with this Tartarianism. There's like, it's like the spectrum of like how fake reality is is reality 99,000 percent fake which would be tartarian or is reality like 95 percent fake which would be like you know um uh elite cabal with ill intentions for the vast majority of humanity have a lot of influence on our planet but then the 99,000 percent version of that would be they wiped out a race of giants and are growing children in cabbage patches. Yeah, the, the giant... I'm like an expert now. I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm just... Okay. Yeah. No, but in the Tartarianism lore, the giants are nice and they're peaceful. And they were like the free energy tech forerunners, essentially. Because in their civilization, it was like a utopia and there was free energy for everybody. But then the, the dark cabal came and it caused the mud. Uh, they must have, I don't know, the ins and outs of how they, maybe they made a deal with the archons and then the mud flood came. 
and wiped out the Tartarian civilization. Also, another key tenet of Tartarianism is that racial origins are fake and gay. So, Europeans aren't from Europe. And blacks aren't from Africa. And the Native Americans aren't, aren't even, like, a thing. They're shitting on everybody's hair. Just like, man, somebody needs to interview a Native American on their thoughts and feelings on Tartarianism. Because they're literally just, like, transplanting them out of the timeline and saying that all the cities in North America were Tartarian civilizations and that these cities are actually like hundreds of years old and that we've just built on top of them. So like San Francisco, for instance, was a Tartarian city that we just transplanted the, the Cabbage Patch Kids onto. That's why they were grown. But if you look at it like just the sheer level of follower and like it it's like kind of like watching like a, a religion grow real time like it's growing into like the hundreds of thousands of views and subs and engagement level is through the roof yeah basically this video is going to be me teaching you about tartaria this is going to be me teaching hyperboreans about tartaria but you're just going to be like the the taught the the, the pupil <laughs> so I've been like watching this for a couple of years on and off so I've collected a lot of knowledge on it and so another tenant is that the Tartarians have been covered up and nobody knew about Tartaria until like 2017 it's like okay I remember in medieval Total War 2 uh, after the Mongols come the Tartarians come and they are scary and you have to fight them off it's like one of the invasions that happens so like that was 2008 people knew about tar tar tartary and tartarians back then like oh so it's not some like hidden civilization and, and then there's tartars who exist today in russia but how do tartars feel about tartaria <laughs> 